Alrighty. So, I did get the ultimate about seven days after it was announced, and then I went off. I was in Los Angeles at the time, and then I went to Turkey, so I haven't had actually a chance to do a video on it. But now, today, that is going to change. So, we are going to have a look at how to use the Black Magic Ultimate, whether that's the new one or one of the older ones, and uh, how to use that in Composure. So, it's probably not the ideal workflow, there's some problems with Composure, but for a basic setup, that's going to give you a much better key than what Composure does by itself. Now, to do this, what we're going to need is a few plugins enabled in Unreal. So we're going to need the Blackmagic plugin because we're using a Blackmagic card. I'm also going to need the Media, oh, 1E, Media, IO, where is it? Here we go. IO Framework enabled, as well as most likely the Media, the other one, Media Framework Utilities and Media IO Framework. So you can go ahead and make sure those two are enabled. Now you're also going to need a card with multiple inputs on it. So that from the Black Magic is going to be the 8K Pro or the Duo 2. Because we need to send both a key and a fill to the engine. So we need to send two media feeds to the engine. Now a bit of a handy little tip if you're using the 8K. So if you've ever tried to use the 8K, it's sort of split up like this, and it's really weird because you've got to like set these. So a tip to get these to work. Set the first DeckLink 8K Pro, the one in brackets one, set the that to SDI one in or out and save it. It'll automatically set all of them to that. See, three in or out. So <laughs> And then you may have noticed I clicked on number two, but that said three. Now that is because, annoyingly, the SDIs are one, two, three, and four. They're not in the order you would expect them to be in, which is really, 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 really confusing. But once you get your head around that, it should be pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our inputs first. So I'm going to go media and then I'm going to go media bundle and we're going to call this black magic fill. And then I'm going to make another one media bundle and call this one black. Oh, I just called it black <laughs> magic key. So what is a fill and what is a key? Black name that correctly. So if we go ahead to our Ultimate software, love that I can do that on a computer now. So what you're seeing at the moment is our currently just our video input. I'm going to use the auto key um, just because this isn't a video about keying, but might do one in the future. In under crew. Um, oh, oh, uh, that'll be fine. So what we have then is we have a mat, which looks like this. So this is going to be the mat, or in my case, I'm going to refer to it as key. And then we also have our fill, which looks like this. Now, fill is important instead of using just our straight input, because A, it'll have the same delay as the mat coming out of the ultimate, but then if we decide in here to do any sort of um, tweaking of the colors or despill or anything like that, it'll be on the fill, but not on the input, obviously. So, once again, that this is our fill, and this is our key. So, I'm sending both of those out of the ultimate to my computer through the Blackmagic 8K. So, I'm going to go ahead and set those up. So, what we have in our fill is media source Blackmagic, is Decklink Pro 8.1. Here we go, 25 frames a second, save. I can go ahead and drag that, oops, wrong one drag that out and we will get now we're going to get a really bad looking video that is because we're sending 8 bit uh, we're sending 10 bit and we're sending srgb save and now there we go that's much nicer uh, the auto key is pretty spotchy still but that's okay because that isn't a video about auto key now i have plugged my second input into number two on the black magic which is this plug here. <laughs> Again, not a fan of that naming convention. So two progressive, 25, save. 
drag that out and we'll get the exact same thing we'll get a again it's not the cleanest but this isn't a video on that so now I have these two and so what I can do is I can use composure to composite these into my 3g scene really nice and easy so in the compos in, um, composure window which hopefully automatically open there otherwise it's windows virtual production composure compositing go ahead and create a new comp call it empty I'm gonna call this main comp like so then I'm going to add a layer element I'm gonna start with one media plate and then I'm gonna add a second media plate because obviously we have two one of these I'm going to name to be media fill and then the other one I'm gonna to name to media key media key Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and create a CG layer, which is just going to be of our scene. Probably should have picked a better scene for this. I'm going to add a cine camera actor like so, so the composure has something to grasp onto. And then in my main comp, I'm just going to double check. I'm going to set it to, I think it does automatically, but I'll never be too careful. Now in our fill, what we can do is we can go into the fill asset grab the this one the media texture and add it in like that in the key I'm gonna go back out into the key folder grab that texture and add it in like that save everything so you don't lose your work Just map. so last thing is to come Posit all of this together so the benefit here is we don't need to rely on the terrible key that composure comes with we already are using the app ultimate although that's not producing much better for a key at the moment I could probably tweak it okay let's I'll give me self 30 seconds to attempt to oh that there we go that and then we just start back right perfect that's well not perfect but that's better Right, lastly what you need to do is make a material to composite both together. So I'm going to go ahead into our main and make a new material, m underscore comp material, like so. Go ahead and open it. We're going to then change it from surface to post process. I'm then going to add a texture sample, like so. I'm going to duplicate it three times and just gonna line them up like so and like so now we need to select just a random texture so I'm just gonna select this green funky guy like so like so like so there we go I'm gonna use an overnote from composure like that I'm gonna plug the RGB out of the emissive I'm gonna plug this bottom one the RGB a so it has to be a four vector not a three vector so we need to use the RGB a I'm going to convert this to a parameter and I'm going to call this CG layer I'm then going to grab a make float for like oh, make float for like so now and then this is the tricky part so this one is going to be I'm going to convert it to a primitive. This is going to be our media key. And then this one is going to be our media fill. Like so. So we're going to take the red, the green, and the blue from our media fill. That is the plate with the, uh, oops, plate with the dog on it, which looks like, there we go. So that, that is this one. We will take, we will take the red, green, blue channels from that. Then what we're gonna do is we're then going to take the red channel, just the red channel. Um, oh, you could take any channel because it's a, a black and white image, but I'm gonna take the red channel and we're gonna use that as the alpha. And then I'm gonna plug that into the overnode like so. Save it now. We're getting a, I can't remember the, which one's a garbage mat and which one's a regular mat. We're getting a certain mat out of the alter mat at the moment with the black being the subject and the white being the green screen. Now we need that inverted. So your two options are in the software here. What we can do is we can go to 
settings, outputs, and then we can go mat out invert, like so, which will invert the mat. Or alternatively, which is the recommended method, what we can do is I'm going to grab this and just go one minus, like so, and we'll invert it in Unreal. That way, if you ever need to use ultimate for something else, it's not set weirdly and not its default, and no one's going to get confused about that. So once we have that, we can click on our main comp here. We can go for transform passes. We can hit the plus here, can drill that down, make sure our comp is selected, and I'm just going to put it in there like so. Hey, <laughs> so we got our character on the green back, uh, the little green guy background. Oh, I just called it CG lay. Oh no, oh, well. it didn't auto fill it. That's okay. I can replace that with CG element like so. And now, last but not least, we need to add an output. So I'm going to go media, black magic, media output, black magic, media out. I'm using the fourth one, which I think actually is number four. <laughs> Hilariously, four, 25, apply. Then I'm going to switch it to 10 bit, save like so now and the output i'm going to add a plus leave it there i'm going to select black magic and i'm going to hit preview and then we should be getting an output oh i keep opening that one by mistakes so just like that we've done it and so i can move the camera around and the background will move obviously go ahead and track your camera uh, one thing I'm going to do is parent that to that, there we go, so that it doesn't, there we go. So just like that, we have now done a basic composite, composite, composure, my bad, workflow, using the Blackmagic Ultimat instead. And we're keying, oh, we're doing the compositing inside Unreal, and <sighs> this is exactly what you probably some of the original virtual productions we're doing with green screen back when we very first started before there were other solutions out there and Except this time we're using a hardware key to get a much better key result So hope you enjoyed hopefully that was useful I'm going to cover two other ways to use the ultimate both compositing inside the ultimate because it itself can do the compositing So that way you won't even need an SDI card so we could use the HDMI only ultimate for that one the tracking might be tricky. And then lastly, a 3D compositing method so that we can have our video footage sort of cast shadows and show up in reflections. So hopefully you learned something and I will see you later.